You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it From a chicken chaser to an XJR 1300, I'll never be able to ride this one, but it sounds really good. Excuse the weeds. <laughs> Look at him, he was just having a wash and I've missed it. He's so cute, he's only a baby one. Oh, come on, bugs, have a wash for the camera. Look how still he's sitting. He's quite happy sitting there. Super, super cute. Let's stay to the garden now. <laughs> this area's all got to be dug out, but it's going to be a patio. So we haven't done anything to it. So yeah, it's just a bloody mess. But look at the super cute bunny. He's beautiful. Hello, my darlings. Happy Sunday. Hope you're all okay. Hope you're enjoying your weekend. Uh, <laughs> let's just ignore this. This is my Sunday look, air up, bra off. Uh, this is a typical Sunday. I've still got my pajamas on. Um, yeah, this is what I look like 99% of the time. <laughs> Don't always look glamorous. Um, so I thought we'd do like a little bit of um, a vlog. You will have already seen the footage of me on the um, little uh, moped scooter thing. <laughs> my first time ever having a go. Well, that's a lie. It's not my first time ever. I had a go on one about 30 years ago plus. Um, my brother had one and he brought it to my flat and he was like, do you want to go? And I was like, yeah, okay, I'll have a go. I says, what do I do? He says, you just rip and rev and go. And I was like, okay. <laughs> So I jumped on, revved it, sped off, went through a fence, went up in the air and the bike landed on top of me. I was covered in bruises. 
So that was my very first experience of riding a little chicken chaser. Oh, and I said I'd never do it again, but Les has um, bought two. And he was like, come on, have a go. And I was like, no, no, no. And he went, no, ride it on the grass. If you fall off, you'll be okay. So he gave me a little bit of a, a lesson. And I, I enjoyed it, to be honest. I really did. I didn't think I'd be able to do it. So I surprised myself. And I enjoyed it. So uh, next stop is on the concrete, on the tarmac around the community centre next door. I don't know whether I'll ever go out on the road on one. You know, I can only just about drive my car. Never mind a, a bloody motorbike, and I don't know what's going on with the air today. Wow. <laughs> what a complete mess. Anyway, um, I hope you're all okay. Let me know what you've been up to the weekend. It was a beautiful day yesterday. We was out in the garden all day. We cleaned the cars and just messed about in the garden. But it looks like it's going to rain today, so I thought I'd do a bit of filming. I'm cooking a roast pork dinner, so I'll share that with you. I've got a bit of um, laundry to do and, you know, tidy up the bedroom and that. So a bit of a housey vlog, spend a few days with me. So anything interesting I will um, include in this vlog. So I hope you enjoy uh, spending a few days with me. So the first thing we're going to do is the oven's already preheated. We're gonna get the pork out the fridge and we are gonna get that in the oven and then we're gonna go and do a bit of cleaning in the bedroom while that's cooking and then we'll come back and prepare the, the veg and stuff. So, I'll get the pork out the fridge and get all set up and I'll see you in a sec. <music> I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost No, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing but with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby Myself, and I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else For the rest of our time And I know it so well I will always be by your side We're in the bedroom now guys And I am going to make the bed And uh, yeah, just do a little bit of tidying around So I'll take you with me So room and fabric freshener. Uh, this is in the scent persuasive and it is really, really nice. It smells lovely. I'd love to spray it on the bedding. Look in the mirror now. What do you see? You can be anything. I've gone to use my wipes and they've all dried out, so never be alone.
Right, I've only got the little entrance way to do there. Everywhere else is like quite, quite tidy in here, so it was just a little quick refresh. So, I need a cup of coffee and I need to cool down. <laughs> so, I'll see you back in the kitchen in a little while. Bloody hell guys, I'm sweating. <laughs> so, so far for dinner we have got, that's going to be mash. We're all steaming up, hang on. Oh, a few broad beans for less. I am very keen on broad beans. Garden peas, I was going to do green beans but I haven't got any. These are just um, four big potatoes. Actually, I can turn them off now. They are going to go in for roast. And then I've done myself some roasted veg. This is just frozen sprouts, frozen parsnips and fresh carrots. And I've just put some chilli oil over some, some of this. Chilli and garlic oil. Some black pepper and some sea salt and then i'm just going to roast that let's down like this but i do so i will scoff the lot uh yeah so i'm just going to make the stuffing now um the meat's almost done so i'll be getting that out to rest and then i'll be putting the roasters in and stuff bloody hell it's gone warm so i'll see you in a minute Bloody hell. <laughs> right, that wasn't a very flattering angle, was it? Oh, it's gone quite nice outside now. Look at the state of me. Bloody hell. I've just made the stuff in. I'm just going to let that stand for a minute or so to thicken up and then um, put it in the dish. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm now going to put the roasters in the tray. I've got a, a lump of lard you know a square of lard and I'll just pop it in the tray put it in the oven till it's smoking hot and then I'll tip the potatoes in so we will do that now so I'll spin the camera around and we'll do that And then on my roasters, I use a bit of black pepper. And this, it's perfect for roast potatoes, aromat. And I just, I haven't got much left by the looks of it. Sprinkle that all over my potatoes. See my boobs wobbling. <laughs> the joys are not wearing a bra. And then just pop them in the oven and leave them for about half hour, 45 minutes till they're all nice and golden brown. Let's 
stuffing's thickened up lovely now. So we can get that in the dish. Ready to bake in the oven. And then what I normally do with the stuffing, I get a little bit of vegetable oil, just half a spoonful, and just pour it over the top and it just goes lovely and crispy on the top when it's been in the oven. So, guys, I think we are at the stage where I can't do anything else now until um, it comes to dishing up, really. So I'm just going to wash these few pots up and I'll see you in a bit. The pork is done so I have to do it like this Les likes chewy crackling and I like crispy crackling so this is my bit and this is Les's bit he likes it chewy so that's done I'm now just gonna pop it on this plate here I don't know what that is pop it on this plate to rest and then what I do is I cover it with foil and a tea towel and I just leave it while everything else is cooking and all the juices go back into the meat. I'll leave it to rest for at least half an hour, three quarters of an hour. So yeah, yum. Really looking forward to this dinner. So guys, everything's nearly ready now and what I've done, oh my God, I have made some um, instant gravy in a jug and added it to the meat juices and just put it on the, the hob just to warm up and thicken through. So, look at that. I'll tell you what, my mouth's watering. <laughs> and the peas are boiling away, so I can turn them off. Which one is it? That one. Look at the state of the cooker. <laughs> right, I'll show you it when it's dished up. See you in a minute. Guys. Look at this. Now that is what you call a Sunday dinner. Look at them roasters. Oh, Yorkshire's. Beautiful. Roasted veg, crackling, stuffing and apple sauce. So I am going to go and stuff my face now and then go into a food coma. So I'll see you in a bit. Hello. <laughs> oh God, guys, I have just come out of a food coma. I've been sat on the settee, just monging out, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling on Vinted after that massive dinner. And it's like half oh, past ten now. So I've just come to bed. I hope you've enjoyed today with me. I've really enjoyed today. That dinner. Oh my God. It was absolutely beautiful. I was going to make a bread and butter pudding, but I hadn't got any cream to make the, the custard. And then we was going to have apple crumble and custard. And we just couldn't fit anything else in, so... <sighs> I'm done it. But I've had a wash, put some clean jammers on, done my skincare. And I'm in bed now. And I'm going to watch some Grey's Anatomy. For an hour or so, we're not even going to talk about the hair. <laughs> oh, God, yes, yeah. so I'm going to watch a bit of Grey's Anatomy before Les comes to bed. I've got my Coca Cola, so dehydrated. Oh, God. Oh, that is beautiful. So, yeah, it's been a real good day today. 
Um, I think tomorrow um, I've got a vintage parcel to go and post. So I might have a little look around the charity shops. I'll, oh, <laughs> I forgot I've still got my earrings in. I've just pulled that one out. Better take this one out. Um, yeah, I might have a little tour all around the charity shops, depending. If the weather's nice, I might just take the vintage parcel and come back home because we want to start uh, getting the out around ready so we can go away for a few days soon. But I will film whatever I do tomorrow, either way, whether it's out and about or whether it's um, cleaning the inside of the camper. I don't know, yes, it's all weather depending. So if it's nice, then it'll definitely be a day of getting the camper ready, I think. Because we was going to do it today, but the, the weather's not been that good today. It's been really muggy as well. It feels like we're going to have a storm. Oh, yeah. I'm so comfortable now. I could just go to sleep, actually. But, yeah, I'm going to watch some Grey's Anatomy. Wait for Les to come to bed. And just relax. <laughs> so, I'll see you all tomorrow, guys. I love you loads. Good night. God bless. Hope you've had a good Sunday as well. Let me know what you've been up to. See you tomorrow. Bye. Hello, my darlings. Happy Tuesday. No. <laughs> it's Monday. Happy Monday. Oh, that was a good band, the Happy Mondays. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, today's plan of action. I hope you're okay. I hope you've had a great weekend. Today's plan of action was to um, clean the camper. However... The weather is shocking, it's freezing, it's going to absolutely piss it down, the sky's dark. So I have decided I've got to go and post um, a parcel for Vinted anyway. So I thought while I'm out, I am going to have a little look round the charity shops. There's only uh, three, I think, in my town. There's the Seven Hospice uh, Cancer Research. Actually, there's four. The Salvation Army and the British Art Foundation. But just recently, the British Art Foundation isn't open very often. I think they're struggling for staff. So, um, I will have a look, see if it's open, because it's a nice little charity shop. Um, sorry to make me a fag for the journey. It's a nice little charity shop. Um, you can get some nice bargains in there so I'll see if it's open and just have a little look round if I get anything I will uh, show you when I get back so classy <laughs> um, I'm still all blocked up my hair desperately needs washing there's that much dry shampoo and hairspray in it it's unbelievable so i think i might do that this evening when i get back um when i have my shower i think i might wash and dry my hair um yeah so that's the plan for now to uh pop out to the charity shops hang on i don't want to let the radio be blaring and um, see whether we can find anything nice. What do you reckon? Oh, bloody hell, it's telling me my bonnet's open. Hang on, <laughs> I'll be back in a sec. That's it, done. We've been checking the oil, cleaned it and checked the oil and put the window washer stuff in and that, so that's why it's telling me that the bonnet's open. Yeah, so what was I saying? Um, we'll see whether we can find any nice bargains down the town. Might pop into New Look. See if there's anything in there because they've always got a sale on in my new look. 
I'm gonna pop into Superdrug because I am on the hunt for the new um, Revolution Foundation. Uh, and the last couple of times I've been in, they've got some, but they haven't got my shade, it's sold out. So, that is the plan of action today. see what what's going on down the tower right I'm gonna spin the camera around and you know you can drive along with me and have a little look at the scenery and um, on the way down to the town so I will see you guys in a bit bye for now <laughs> traffic lights and I I really want to know really want to know if I let me figure out where the road goes even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down
To be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me, until you set me free My eyes were closed, now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say that you can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile I'm moving closer to you now I can't get close enough somehow And I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly I don't need anybody, I don't need anybody else No one will ever take me, no one will ever take me away from you I promise I will hold on to you I don't know what I'd do without you Without you You can take me high So I've just arrived at Terran and it's bloody sod's lord it started raining and guess who I got a coat? Yeah, me. <laughs> oh, so it looks like I'm gonna get rather wet. Oh well, I did say I needed a shower. <laughs> right, I'm going to get a ticket and have a little trot round the town. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of scenery and I will see you when I get back home. Love ya, bye. Hello, I'm back in the car. I didn't get wet. It has rained, but it must have rained while I was inside. Oh God, I'm knackered. The British Art Foundation looks like it's shut down, um, so we're down to three charity shops. I have got quite a few nice bits though, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to do those in a separate haul on Friday. I've got a few bits from um, New Look, a couple of bits, 
uh, some stuff from the charity shops. I've got stuff out the Seven Hospice, which is always a really good one. And uh, a couple of things out the Salvation Now, one thing out the Salvation Army and a couple of little bits out of uh, Cancer Research. So, got something out of all of them today. God, I've got to wash my hair tonight. <laughs> and you know what? I went into Superdrug and it was twelve ninety nine for uh, a box colour. I ain't doing it. I am not paying twelve ninety nine for a box colour or it was two for 20 quid. And I thought, you know what? I'm not doing it. So instead, I bought the one I normally have is the L'Oreal Preference. But I saw this one by Live and it's in absolute platinum. So I'm going to give that a go. Where's my receipt? How much was that? Um, £5.79 so half the price so I got that out of Superdrug I'll just show you what I picked up out of Superdrug little car haul picked up two more of these still £1.10 so I picked up two more I also picked up a new white eyeliner by Barry M that was 3.99 for a new white eyeliner got Les a pork pie from the butchers <laughs> he loves that pork pie and I, oh god I've just noticed that's all that should be okay uh, some fake tan from super drugs range Soleil and it's called Mousse, uh, Soleil Mousse Express Dark Tan Lasts for Days Limited Edition Watermelon Scent and I think it develops in 60 minutes I think that's what that means there 60 minutes develop, developing time which is really good because you put it on and then wash it off before you go to bed And because my bloody I mean I've always got white bedding on my bed and it's always covered in bloody fake tan uh, this was £4.66 and then the last thing that I picked up was this uh, Rose Fizz I Heart Revolution palette and this was on offer for £4.99 and I don't think I'm going to be able to get into it because it's all let's see let's see if we can get into it and have a look I went in for that um, foundation and I haven't got my shade again. I might have to order it online and have it uh, delivered to the store and I can pick it up there. Oh God, why do they always make it so difficult for you to get in the boxes? These nails don't help. Come on. That's it, got it. I thought this was nice for four ninety nine. Look at that, really cute. Let's have a look at the the colours. Ooh, really nice colours there. We've got mattes and shimmers. Really like that. They've got a few different ones actually, and it's got a mirror on as well. So can't wait to try that because uh, I like a, a nude nudie pink eye as you know and that's all that I picked up in Superdrug um, as I say I picked up a few bits from um, the charity shop but I'll do a separate haul on Friday because I've got a, few, a couple of bits from B Vinted as well and I've ordered a few more bits so something else might come in between now and Friday. You'll be seeing this vlog on Wednesday. So yeah, I think I might leave it here guys. Um, I'm going to go home and have some dinner. What's the time? It's 20 past three. 
Uh, I'm going to have some dinner. We've got leftovers today. I did the, that pork dinner yesterday. Oh, God, it was so nice. It was so nice, that pork dinner was. So today we're having leftovers, bubble and squeak, the rest of the pork in gravy and Yorkshire puddings. Yum. So that's our dinner tonight. And then as of tomorrow, I have decided that I am going to um, try and eat... <laughs> a bit more healthy because it's getting ridiculous i've noticed like you know it's my belly started to creep up here again so i think i might start my um keep fit again a couple of times a week my at home um walking keep fit with um fabulous 50s she's amazing um she does like you know exercise for the other 50s fucking it's like I'm so old. Oh my God, well I am, I'm over 50. Jeez, exercise for the over 50s. Next thing we know, I'll be doing armchair exercises. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, but anyway, I'm going to... Uh, actually, the last time that I used to do my exercise a couple of times, I think I used to do it three or four times a week. I lost a stone in a month. So, yeah, I'm going to get back on my exercise routine, I think, and and back to a bit more uh, healthy eating, get a few salads down me instead of potatoes all the time and pasta and rice and cake and chocolate and crisps. <laughs> I just love my food. I can't help it. But my thinking is if I start exercising, I can still eat what I want. But then again, instead of having like three donuts, I'll cut myself down to one. <laughs> Talking of donuts, I think I might go to Morrison's. Nah, can't be bothered. I've got plenty of stuff in the house. So, yeah, I'm definitely starting my um, exercise tomorrow. Yeah, I'll probably include it in one of, the, one of my vlogs in the future. Um... I need to put some batteries in my weighing scale so I can weigh myself tomorrow and then I'm going to, yeah, really get on it and try and get my belly down a little bit because it's starting to creep up under my bust again. <laughs> I noticed when I was sitting on the motorbike, you know, at the beginning of the, the video, I looked at that and I thought, yeah, belly's going to get ya. So, that's my plan. Right, I'm going out <laughs> and I'm going to um, well I've edited most of this video I've been doing it as I go along and you know what's just happened I've set tonight it's Monday so I've set tonight's video to upload at 6 o'clock and I've come out the house not even give it a thought it was still uploading it's used all my freaking data on my phone so I've got no data left now <laughs> till uh, about the 15th of June oh well I'm always at home anyway it doesn't matter if I haven't got any data when I'm out Right, stop rambling, Max, and sort your life out. So I'm going to roll me a fag, and I'm going home, and I'm going to stuff my face for the last time <laughs> before I start my healthy lifestyle. Well, healthy-ish lifestyle. And, yeah, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this little vlog. If you did, please don't forget to <laughs> smash the thumbs up button. If you haven't already... And also, if you're new here and you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing down below and popping on that. Oh, there's somebody looking at me really weird up there because I'm talking to my, my phone anyway. Uh, yeah, subscribe down below, pop on that notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I do upload, which is normally two or three times a week. I do everything from hauls, fashion, beauty, makeup. Um, if you like charity shop hauls, I do all that. Vinted. Um try-ons vlogs just a bit of everything on this lifestyle channel and nothing but positive vibes and love out to you guys out there and it all comes rushing back i love you guys lowards don't forget to leave all your lovely comments down below thank you for all the lovely comments on my uh, previous video which was my summer wardrobe try on haul i really enjoyed doing that if you want to see another one i can put together some more outfits let me know down in the comments and i can do that uh yeah so i'm gonna stop chatting shit as usual <laughs> and i'm going i will see you all in the next one i love you bye